welcome to another video and uh, where you are going to see what are you going to do when you are all alone versus the whole enemy team uh, which actually happens to me now and then because I tend to survive a lot and look at that I have six kills and ah, all my team has their put out and I'm alone so I'm up here I'm going to hand that B25 um, basically what you want to do is to uh, grab as much energy as you can as soon as you notice you are going to be left alone what I did here is there was a wellington in my team which was raped basically by those guys down there and I noticed I was going to be left alone because that guy was his f f fifth plane and I asked him and said and he said no this is my last plane so I just was in the up in the air. I couldn't. I didn't have the time to return to base and land and try to save my plane. So well, I simply had to stay up. So I spotted this bomber. So I thought, oh cool, at least I'll get a kill before going down. Uh, get some hits and uh, set another pass while reloading. So what do you want to do basically and. Uh, even more if you are in a plane like this, I mean the mm, BF-109 is very good at this situation because it has such a clean rate and acceleration that if you are smart, nothing can, will touch you. So you are going to see all of this during this video. Second person is the B-25 and get his tail. Ah, I had an amazing game and well, my whole team decided to derp. What are you going to do? So, well, right now I'm just scanning around and uh, looking down. So far they are not coming up. So I'm going to skip up, uh, up to the point where they start noticing I'm up here and where they start coming up for me. So, well, here we are later. They have noticed me, they know I am up here and they are slowly climbing. I'm at 6,000 meters, so it's a lot. Um, so well, the first target I'm going to um, go for is that F4F, which is clearly, clearly coming up for me. So what I do is to go down for him. You also can notice I had serious fuel issues. I was very low on fuel, so I was cutting down the engine because if you don't go at 100%, you save fuel. So I go down on him, get some hits, and just get out. And the whole point of this uh, exercise is to notice the highest enemy guy, go down for him and put his head down, force him down, force him to dive and to lose all the energy he has. You are conserving more or less your energy because you are boom and zooming and he is going to have and be forced to first of all evade your move and second of all go down. And if he doesn't go down you keep on going, doing passes on him until he, di he dies. He hasn't got down, so second pass, some hits. My aim was really bad that, uh, there, but whatever. And again, up we go. Here I see that the next in line is going to be that Spitfire. He's pretty high in energy compared with the other guys, and even so with the guy I just bounced. So I target him keep on my straight up climb and when the moment comes we cover down on him and again is repeating the exercise if he doesn't evade he's going to die if he evades he's going to burn his energy and he if he burns his energy while I keep mine up is one less guy I have to worry about for a while and up we go again Vertical climb, keeping track on the Spitfire, looking around to see if there are some other enemies with high energy. I, uh, I spot that P3. That P3 is clearly very fast. It's much slower, but it's very fast. You can just how fast enemies are by their closer rate. The faster they are coming in, the bigger the closer rate, the bigger the speed it is. So this is going to be my next target. Want to force him down, and if I can, of course, kill him. So, down I go. Very good hits. 
and coming up again. By the way, that guy actually uh, died later, so that's a kill. Of course, in the moment I didn't know, and actually I didn't care. I mean, you don't want to insist on a single guy, you want to go one by one and uh, be killing them just by one by one. So again, topping, putting a little bit of, en en of uh, throttle to save fuel. And there you go, the P3 dies. Next in line is the 109, which is my main target because the 109s, of course, are going to climb and accelerate as good as I do. So what I do is to select him. He's clearly hanging on his prop, so he's not a target uh, threat. And fill him with holes. And this guy was so beaten up that he directly break uh, contact and went back to base. As you can see, he's diving. So one by one, just wither them down. Of course, fuel was a very big concern um, for me right now. Three minutes of fuel, I had to save as much as I could. Three minutes at 100%, of course. Uh, if I cut on throttle, it's going to be less. But if I go on web, it's going to be more. So you can see I'm throttling back. And just keeping me altitude. There you go, nine kills. Got two since the no three since this since this situation started. So yes, don't go kamikaze. You can you you can do things and try to stay alive, but the time is coming to an end, and the battle is going to end. So well, hope you enjoyed. Hope you learned something. And see you later.